Kind of going out of range. Yeah, these outs are pretty awful. <laughs> uh, oh well. Hyper of Dakota average. Those are super expensive though. Yeah, don't worry about it, dude. Holy shit. We have to put more dudes on board. Uh, since this is a terror mission, I'm gonna... ...pull back to, like, my best people. Am I missing a power suit? I am missing a power suit. Huh. Oh. Lucky you get personal armor instead. <laughs> I'm making a bunch more, I guess. But still. I feel like maybe you don't retrieve... Um... Armor from dead people. I feel like I shouldn't be missing... Suits. Oh god, why are you left-handed? <laughs> and who's missing a gun? Donald Trump. Of course, Donald Trump is missing a gun. What have we got? Snakes? Oh, shit. Cyberdisk. Which means... Ethereals? Does Snake Man use Cyberdisk? I don't think so. I think only ethereals use cyber discs. Um, I don't remember for sure though. Oh, sectoids use cyber discs as well. Okay, that's not too bad then. Um. We're at an edge. This is the corner, so I guess we're technically kind of in a corner. Um, but there could be people in these buildings, so it's still not really safe. And maybe one more smoke. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about the flank. Alright. Doesn't have enough to do anything. Move too far plus throwing the grenade. Auto snap. Oh, no fire. Really? Unless the tank's in the way. No? That's weird. I wouldn't have expected that to be an issue. That's fine, we have lots of dudes. Although Donald Trump's not going to be very accurate with a grenade in his hand. Oh yeah, do any of you have... Stock names, Pia. Alright, so there's a few people we need to rename. Because I have two more. Two more? One more, one more personnel request. Oh, 
Nice. Also, that guy had a pistol, which is good. likely to get destroyed <laughs> by heavy plasmas, which is always nice. Oh, maybe you still have enough run order. Yep, perfect. There we go. Mm, you can just stay. There actually, because you don't have good armor. I shot my tank, but I didn't see them. I just start taking notes on who gets um mind controlled. Hello. Why are you... You know what? I'm gonna make you right-handed. I don't go over cost time units, it's really irritating. <laughs> Alright, so there's another guy down here. Maybe the tank will see him. Oh, what the hell? Not what I expected. There we go. Um, that's not an easy shot. I might get the tank to take it. Um, I would like to move here, but the civilians in the way. We'll get the hand solar to start. Oh, it actually did damage. Well, oh, shit. I really hope I don't kill my own tank. Then again, if I don't try to take out the guys next to the tank, he's probably gonna die anyway. Oof. Got that collateral damage. Great. Right, turn around one. Um, do some scouting. There's more stuff top right ish. And there actually doesn't seem to be too many aliens here unless they're just not moving too much. Because I went to civilian phase pretty quickly. Oh, okay, it was a stun, not a blaster. Mm -hmm. I think I need to be to take the shot. Maybe aim it so you don't hit the civilian. Is it blocked by the tank? Maybe? Alright, we'll just order it and I hope we don't hit the civilian. I mean, that is some damn accurate shooting. 76, still, that's really accurate. They're just stunning civilians. <laughs> I didn't see this guy over here. 
But I did move forward. I guess in those time units, well, kind of everyone. Wow, it's a long way away. All right, run the hell away. Don't worry, we can make line of fire. Just trying not to kill civilians. Jesus Christ, dude, that was close. A piece of wool is not cooperating. Oh, of course, the other bit of wall cooperates. Come on, buddy. Alright, there we go. Close. Also close. And hit. He had a heavy plasma. Alright, tank. Seek and destroy. There was someone else down here. There we go. Uh, you don't have a lot of time units, though. I don't think tanks can sprint either. So what, where's the safest place? Probably as far back as you can get. And then we'll just walk up. Take the shots. Uh, if I destroy that, then it will probably kill the sectoid. It will unfortunately destroy some of the gear on the ground, but I mean that's kind of unavoidable. Yeah, it destroyed the corpse here. It didn't destroy the weapon, surprisingly. Okay, so there's a berserk sector leader there. I'll get this guy to scout it. Hello. Um, let Viola take a shot. I mean, you're pretty close. Yeah, well. 68, 50, alright, you need to practice more. That was close. There you go. Really glad none of those hit civilians. <laughs> Alright, so we need a location of three more aliens. And this guy didn't get injured, which is really good. Oh shit, there's two here. Uh. Back a bit into the smoke and then start firing. Again, focus the explodey guy first. Let's see what the guy next to him. There's another one down here, and there's one over here somewhere. See anyone? Um, yeah, I don't actually know. I get him to take cover, and I'll move these guys up to support. Cause I'm not, I'm not sure where they are. I'm also worried the tank's gonna get destroyed. And those things cost 500k, so I probably should have been a bit more careful with that. Um, I guess I can still move it back. Oh, there goes the tank. Avenge him! That's a cyber disk. Um, 
not what I wanted. Ben Eastwood. Do your country proud. I'm not proud. <laughs> Donald Trump, do your country proud. I thought that would kill it. Alright, um, Neil Diamond, you're up. There we go. And there's one more guy somewhere down there. But we can't find him. Oh, what? The Cyberdisc must have done two sets of shots. Because we didn't recover any live aliens. So we saved four civilians. And lost the tank. That's pretty good. The score's pretty low because we're not collecting that many artifacts, I think. Oh, and you, a lot of the corpses got destroyed as well. So that was relatively easy. Okay, so Dal 9, Dal N 600 is now um, defensible, which is excellent. A lot of sectoid corpses, I guess that's two missions worth. Wait, not your phone navigation. Um, food and surgery. Yeah, so the last mission I must have not sold um, the stuff we got. I'm gonna store up a bunch of money though, because we're gonna need it to build the hyperwave decoders. It costs millions. Hook up all the bases with it. There you go. Alien communications rely on a super dimensional wave, which, what does that even mean? Which travels almost instantaneously. The decoder facility intercepts UFO transmissions and decodes the information. This will show the type of UFO, the alien race, and the type of activity. So let's start interrogating more dudes. And their bodies. <laughs> uh, stun bomb. Sure. Painted mines. Perfect. Um. So it's time to get those hyperwave decoders. One point four million each. Holy shit! That is not cheap. I, like, I knew it was expensive, but damn, dude. It's intensely expensive. I need to sell some more random stuff. Uh, sure, I can sell some grenades. A medium. I'm pretty fast, though. How's the manufacturing going? Mm, it's gonna be a while. I want that retaliator. Hmm. Going to Australia. Oh. Well, I kind of don't have an intercept in nearby. The other one's gonna have to come from the other side of the world. Hope it's not scouting for our base. I'll get you to patrol right where you are. Found it. Oh, it landed. Alright. Pick him out, boys. It's uh, medium. We might as well go to that while we're here. Uh, now that it's not um, a turret mission, I can take some more guys that aren't as good. 
Can I just take the top four out and put the next four in? Maybe it would make more sense to just look at who needs experience. Dance is pretty good. Oh, you can get bravery? Maybe you get bravery by panicking. That's pretty funny. Now that doesn't make sense, because this guy wouldn't have panicked at all. Oh, he could have been... die panicked, I guess. Oh, in any case... Keys could use some reactions, but is otherwise good. Donald Trump and Pierre. Alright, Pierre. The request was... Bijou. Pierre is now Bijou. I, if I'm saying that right. <laughs> um. Alright, so we'll take Clint off. Oh, he's wounded. Never mind. Mm, that's a good mix. Give them the right set of armor. Actually, while they're here, they might as well just have personal armor in case, like, our base gets invaded or something. Um. I don't know how to equip armor on people without Scavenger. I guess it's just going to auto equip top down. Eastwood can have one. Uh, Helena can have one. And a smoke grenade. Sure, you can have one too. And a smoke grenade. Oh, we're still down a power suit. Jeez. I oh, know we're not. Alright. There we go. Power suits for everyone. And off we go. <laughs> if I can click. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're already returning to base. Oh, no, you weren't. You're the guy patrolling in Australia. Okay. So that ship's just gonna get away free. Because I can't really do anything about it. Just double check everyone has a gun. Missing a flower. Bruno. Well, that's the UFO taken care of. Sorry about that. Nothing. There's nothing nearby, except for the UFO. I guess that's a good thing in some ways. Let me go straight into breaching. I'll probably breach with my best guys. So there's less chance of them dying. It's primed. Excellent. Go into this field here because there's another building over there. Might get one more person. 
Oh, breach. Bruno's not the best, but... That's... He's good enough that, like, he probably won't get gunned down, but he's, like, weak enough that the experience will be worthwhile. Last guy. Excellent. Also no vision of the guy on the roof there. Until now. Pistol. Oh, he's not a threat then. We should still take him out. Nice shot. First hit. His accuracy's okay. Like 68's pretty good, but it's not like godly. And we might as well just get straight to breaching. Niggas, niggas, niggas. Whoa. This guy coming into my Discord. <laughs> um, I haven't heard anything in the UFO. Which I'm curious about. I might go Donald Trump to like solo the store. Okay, thanks, Lava Golems. I'll take your very insightful comments to heart. Um, I haven't heard anything inside, so I'm, maybe there's only like one guy in the control room or something. I don't know. Uh, there was an external door. These buildings don't have doors, so it must have been from here. Like so. Well, okay, maybe not. <laughs> That's just a pistol. That doesn't matter. Oh. There must be another building somewhere. Oh, or maybe it was this door. I thought this was a barn, but... It's just a normal building. Oh, there's more here as well. Um... I'll split my guys a bit differently then. I'll put five on the left. And just two on the right. Given how many buildings there are. In the other direction. Right, the rookies, they can't actually hit for shit. I say as they somehow manage to make a miracle shot. I think everyone else is ready. Hi! How's it going? I'm glad you didn't turn around. <laughs> right. Don't die. Good. That one there. Hi. That. That might be a heavy plasma. In which case, I need to just shoot him. I can't risk like him shooting me back. If I try to be greedy. Also, that's really risky. Why did I do that? Um. Run to support your friends. These two guys can snapshot, so maybe 55 reactions, 58, maybe the guy comes out and gets shot. I don't think 55 is enough, 58 is enough. But we can hope, hey. That's a pistol, so that should be fine. That might be the last guy as well. We check inside. Ah, yeah, it's blown up. Alright, so this is maybe the last guy. I'll get the experienced guys to open up the wall. Mm, Alright, try again. I'll get the experienced guys to open up the wall. 
I got the experience guys to try to open up the wall and then I'll let the rookies take the killing shot. So they get some more experience. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. Yeah. So the guy in the ship was probably a special rank. Not enough avalanche and missiles to rearm but destroy our sleepy people. Yes, that's fair enough. Because I ordered stingray missiles accidentally. Why is it telling me twice? What? Unless it was one of them was for this. But there's there's not many missiles here, but there's enough. <laughs> um I think I have missiles in transit. Uh, transfers. Yeah, they'll be here in 11 hours. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. I don't even remember <laughs> what some of this manufacturing is for. That's how long it takes to finish this stuff. I think this is just to equip my spare bases. Which means I'm still 10 days away from starting to build a retaliator. Which is a long time. I'm just kind of concerned they're gonna like send a battleship or something and all I'm gonna have is interceptors and I can't fight that. I think grenade does 90. That's not very powerful. I don't think that's worth taking. None of that's interesting. So let's do... the medic. Oh shit. What is going on here? Very large. Very large on the ground. Very large is only battleships. Supply ships and terror ships are both large. Unless there's like some really uncommon, very large, which I don't remember. We don't know much about your foes. No, I really know about this one. The party ship. Those aliens love to party. I can't shoot this thing. But it's gonna kill me. <laughs> no retaliator. Even if I had retaliators, I'd probably need two, maybe three of them in order to not get blown up. Or fighting. Laser defense, almost completely useless. Um, Sectoid leader? I mean, that gives a sigh. Sigh is helpful. Oh my god.